Hi guys and welcome back to the next episode of Minecraft Makeover and today I'm here with a build from Arctic Snow and this is a really cool house. I was actually very impressed with not even just the house, the area is really cool and it's well done. So obviously you've got this little gate, you come inside, you've got the house, like lower level here, if we have a wee upstairs, there's a bunch of arrows floating for some reason, I will remove all of those. But if we come down here, we have all our different dogs. You have fire, ice, shadow, yin and yang. They're cool. But the bit that's interesting to me is all of the garden area. Everything is done so, like, well. If you see lanterns to light everything up, which makes it look very fancy. You've got, um, using the carpet so that if mobs do get in, they can't, like, just keep traipsing over everything. Up here he's got like the start of what must be like a big mage tower, there's a like treetop like house thing as well, there's like a treehouse in there, it's insane, it's just so insane. But I felt like the actual house itself does not match the rest of the area. So I am going to work my magic and we're going to make this house match how grand everything else is. Let's go! You better turn up You better be there when I shake Watch me rockin' if I can't stop If I should fall, just go ahead Go and catch me, baby So we have finished the house, I am much happier with it now. It was an interesting one for me to try and do. So let's give a little tour. So we now have the house, it's actually one block 
bigger on like every side. I sort of just brought it out one block and then as I was doing that, you can see in the time lapse I put it all the way around because I was going to do the entire top floor as like a second floor. But I realised it was going to be super, super boxy and I was like, I don't like having super boxy houses. So that's when doing half of it with the tall style roof and then a balcony came in and I actually really love it. I also gave this super cute little extension because I always love doing little nooks and crannies coming out of the house. So if we go inside to the right, you had a lot of little doggies. So all the little doggies have now got their own little beds and they all match the colours apart from... I'm pretty sure Yang is white but I had to give him light grey because otherwise it would just look weird if it was two blocks of white. Over here we've got a little setting bit with the blue terracotta. And then for your chest, they aren't organised, I do apologise, but I've got this little chest area. So putting them this way makes them look a bit neater, it sort of keeps it a bit tidier as well. And it just sort of keeps it out the way. I've got a little kitchen over here as I always do. I've got this window that's open so you may need to either change it to being closed or put a fence around it to stop mobs coming in. Then you did have a way down to your strip mine on the floor here, but I have moved it. So under here is underneath your stairs, but there's a little tunnel down to where the strip mine was. So it just like leads under the floor into where you were. But this could be a cute little place to put some extra chests or stuff you don't want other people finding so easily. Out here is still your farm, I didn't touch anything out there. Now if we come upstairs we've got some bookcases, the wee little banister, we've got some of the shelves, your bedroom with the blue carpet, really tall ceilings. I've obviously just put down um, the chandeliers but another option you can do is if you add like a second floor here using slabs and you could put an enchanting room like up there and just put some ladders to it or something. Obviously you come out here, we've got this nice big balcony. You could put your enchanting table out here if you wanted or some brewing stands. I imagine that's what this tower is going to be. It might be like a mage tower or something. So you might be putting stuff into that. I do not know. But yeah, I was really happy with how this actually turned out. I wasn't sure what I was working with because obviously your area was pretty cool anyway. And the colour scheme you'd chosen was a sort of birch and the dark oak and spruce. So... It was an interesting one to do. It was definitely different from my last ones, but I'm really happy with the outcome. I love doing this style of roof where it's a lot taller, definitely just gives a lot more space and it makes the house look a lot more interesting than just your standard roof. It wouldn't have looked as cool if it was just like that style roof. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to leave a like. Comment down below if you thought I did a good job, what you thought you could have changed, what you would have done. If you want to see your house done, send over the world folder in a zip file to minecraftmakeovers at outlook.com. The email is in the description and so is the download link to this house. So if you decide to play on this or maybe build something similar on a server, let me know, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I will see you all next time. Bye!